What is up, Light Fam? It is David, your spiritual awakening coach, here to help you through your spiritual awakening. Today, we are talking about three signs the universe is talking to you. Is the universe talking to you? Let's find out. Here are three signs the universe is talking to you. Number one, the same animal keeps showing up in your life every day, whether it be in real life, videos, posts, memes on a billboard. You're meant to go look up the spiritual meaning of that animal. Okay, guys, so spirit animals are a huge thing. Firstly, they kind of work like angel number signs. Your spirit guides will send particular animals to get a specific meaning or message or insight to you to encourage you the same way that they use number signs. When you're getting hit over the head with a particular number, that particular number means something to you specifically. And so your guides, one, they will send animals to get that message and insight of what that animal represents to you. But they're also trying to expand uh, your repertoire of communication with the other side by introducing you to the concept of spirit animals. And since we're on the topic of spirit animals, let's talk about that for a second, because this is huge. This is this is a pillar in your your spiritual uh, path to gain more insight as far as where you are. Uh, now, firstly, I do have a deep dive on spirit animals, which you can go watch right here. It's called Spirit Animals Explained. Uh, it's a very thorough video, and it talks about spirit animals and totem spirit animals. So you have a main core frequency of all of your abilities, traits, strengths, weaknesses, and that core frequency is in alignment with your totem animal. That core frequency, that's your major frequency, and you have that frequency throughout your life. You have a totem animal that carries that same frequency and vibration. Now, the interesting thing about your totem animal is that totem animal carries a specific medicine. The medicine that they carry are the gifts, talents, and abilities that you need to accentuate to get on your life's purpose and accomplish your life mission. Now, the beautiful thing about a totem animal is because you're in vibrational alignment with that totem animal, you're the same as that animal, you have the same medicine within. And that totem animal encourages you to accentuate that medicine and then share it with others that need that specific type of medicine from you. Now, you also have minor frequencies that oscillate. Your minor frequencies that oscillate are direct feedback as far as where you are on your current timeline. So let's say that, you know, you, you have a minor frequency that keeps dipping into the frequency of needing some self-confidence. Maybe it's dipping into that frequency of timidity. Maybe it's dipping into that frequency of, of tentativeness and meekness. And, you know, well, maybe your totem animal is a whale. But your spirit animal might be a lion. A lion might continue to show up because you need to find some courage. So you might be in a place in your life where you need to find some courage. You need to move forward. You need to go after it like a, a predator. And that minor frequency, that's the feedback that it's getting in your current uh, timeline. And that's what you need. And so, you know, you might have a whale as your, your totem animal, certainly not a predator, but you keep getting hit over the head with a lion. And that means for you to move forward and take action. Maybe you're sitting in wounded feminine energy, too scared to move forward and, and act. You're just stuck in place. Boom. You get hit with that lion over and over saying, have some confidence in yourself and move forward. So as you can see, spirit animals come in very handy as far as giving you the insight and the encouragement that you need on your spiritual journey. Number two, the same topic keeps popping up, whether it be with seemingly random people on that topic or suggested videos, posts, memes. And that topic is typically an answer or a solution to a question or a problem that you're having in your life. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> everything is connected and what you are seeking is seeking you. There is an answer out there that is seeking to answer your question because it's a vibrational match. And since everything is source, 
everyone that you run into is also a source having a physical experience. On some energetic level, the source mind, that person having a physical experience as source, the higher consciousness of that person knows that you need that answer that you're seeking. And so source will put itself in your way to get itself as you the answer that you're seeking because source can be bigger and better through and as you the more expanded the higher consciousness uh, that you are in. So the un it's, it's all very symbiotic. The universe is always working together through and as you and through other people. So everything is going to show up at the perfect time uh, so that it's more impactful and that it resonates because if it really makes you stop and say, wow, I can't believe I was just thinking that question and, and then boom, this video pops up or this random person shows up at the gym and they're talking about the same thing that I want to do as far as starting a business or they're going through the same thing in their relationship or whatever it is. The universe is always going to edify itself as you because it can express itself through and as you to a much greater degree when you are expanding, learning, growing, rising, rising in consciousness. It's really tough for the universe to help you if you're in a closed off, limited mindset state stuck in your, your timeline, fearful of learning new things, fearful of expanding your mind, fearful of growing, maybe because of some type of indoctrination where you're not supposed to grow and learn and expand. But as soon as you start to grow and learn and expand, the universe will give you all the knowledge and information that you need so that it can be bigger and better through you and bless everyone else that is involved with you as well so that, that it can be bigger and better through them also. It's all symbiotic when we're talking about the universe. Now, before we get on to the third sign that the universe is talking to you, if you like this type of content, please click the subscribe button. We talk about everything having to do with the spiritual awakening, dark night of the soul, ascension symptoms, empath, empowerment, loneliness after a spiritual awakening. We got it all here at Lightways for you. And if you know someone that might like this type of content, please share with them as well. On to the third sign that the universe is talking to you. And the third sign that the universe is talking to you is peace in the storm. You have an overwhelming sense of support and an inner standing that the universe has your back and everything will work out for your highest good, regardless of any chaos that may be happening at the moment. Okay, guys, so this is huge. When you set time aside to go within, you set aside still time to be still every single day. What happens when you're still? Well, you're in the present moment. Where does anxiety come from? It comes from your mind being off into some future scenario fear-mongering, or your mind is in the past, regretting, you have no power in the future or the pre or the past. All of your power is in the present now moment. And when you go within and you align to that source consciousness, that omni-consciousness awareness, that awareness that has no center, whose circumference is everywhere, you are that. You are that. And when you understand that you are that, there's no concept of being separate from that, meaning you don't have to earn to be with that source. I'm talking about source, God. There's nothing that you have to earn. There, there, there's, there's no test that you have to pass. Was I a good person? Was I a bad person? Did I sin? Did I not sin? Was I obedient enough? All of that is re religious Okay, it's nonsense. You are source having a physical experience. And once you understand that you are source, it throws deserving and all of that nonsense out of the way because source is never going to be divided against itself. That would make no sense. That's a violation of the law. You are source, source is you having a physical experience. This is unity. Duality makes you believe that, you know, source is against you because you're a dirty sinner and all this stupid crap. Unity consciousness is being one with source. And what does that mean? It means source is never divided against itself. It means that you could not be source <laughs> if you wanted to. It's kind of like saying, well, I don't want to be human. Well, tough. You are <laughs> that, you know, it, it's like it, it's almost like saying, well, you know, I've, I've sinned too much. So now I'm not human or I've, I, I don't deserve being human. No, you just are human. There's no way to get out of being human. Same way. There's no way of getting out of being source. 
having a physical experience. And once that becomes your mental shift and your subconscious identity is that of source, then there's nothing to earn. There's no test to pass. There's no deserving or not deserving or whatever. You just are source. And what does this mean? Source is never divided against the, your, itself, which means source always has your back because source is always going to have its back. And this is such a freeing, <laughs> soul liberating way to live. And then you have all the peace in the world, no matter what kind of chaos is happening, you know, source is always going to take care of itself as you because it's also source. I hope this helps, guys. I love you. Namaste.